Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the show. We hope you have time to sit down this morning, grab a cup of coffee, and check out some good news, because there's a new project that aims to give back to local communities through the power of cleaning. Uh, listen, this is uh, thanks to uh, supporting the work of some uh, very young change makers. Clorox is actually launching their What Comes Next project today. So here to tell us all about it, we have author, activist, and video blogger Francesca Ramsey, along with Cutler Houston and uh, Allison Platzmeyer. So good morning, everybody, all being recognized for their cl local cleaning efforts in their communities. Francesca, tell us about what the What Comes Next project is. So the What Comes Next project is all about celebrating young individuals who are taking initiative and harnessing the power of clean in their own communities. We don't often think about how clean clothes or a clean home can set us on the path to success, but these young people are doing just that. And so Clorox partnered with DoSomething.org to find five young people to award $15,000 grants, which they can then put into their community projects. That's fantastic. So Cutler and Allison, what actually have you done in your community? Um, I work with an organization called the Laundry Project, um, and I actually started a branch um, in Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, where I live now. And we open up the doors of laundromats and allow um, all the members of our local communities to come in and wash their clothes completely for free. Um, and we offer them the detergent, um, softener, bleach, all the supplies you can think of in a laundromat there. They have the access to it. Um, and it's amazing to see um, the impact that our guests have just in the power of clean laundry. You can see their confidence levels um, improve, and it's just an amazing opportunity to be a part of. That's fantastic. And Allison, how about you? Yeah, so my project is called Close the Loop, and we collect um, clothing donations that are typically turned down by other charities, so severely stained or tattered or torn clothes. And if it's stained, we try to um, remove the stains and return it to new, and if it's tattered or torn, we can turn it into insulation for housing or stuffing for stuffed animals, and we're basically ensuring that every piece of clothing makes it back into the hands of someone in need in one way or another. That's fantastic. So Francesca, tell us about some of the other change makers and why clean matters. Jasmine Vanskoy did Hurricane Florence cleanup. Dekevian Wardlaw actually cleans the homes of the elderly and the disabled who are not able to clean their homes themselves. And Alma Gonzalez de la Cruz used her time to donate to local animal shelters and get them clean to hopefully help animals get uh, adopted. And this project is so incredible. These kids are doing stuff that I wish that I had the initiative to be able to do when I was their age. And the power of clean is really just about showing people that when you feel good about yourself, you can go out into the world and be more productive. And these projects are helping them do just that. Absolutely. We want to thank everybody. And uh, Francesca, maybe you can let us know how people can give back to these causes and get more information. Absolutely. You can go to whatcomesnextproject.com to learn more, to donate, and also to nominate someone in your community who you think should potentially receive one of these grants next year. Thank you, Francesca and Cutler and Allison. Thank you so much. And there again is that website, whatcomesnextproject.com.